Hello Cancer, welcome to Tarot So Fine. Today is Friday, May 1st, 2020, and I'll be doing your general tarot card reading for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first week of May. And I'll be using the Tarot de la Nuit for your reading. So let's see, what do you need to know for the first week of May? What does Cancer need to know for the first week of May? Cancer. What does Cancer need to know? This card flew out. Six of Cups. Something from the past. Somebody from the past. Being nostalgic. Remembering something from the past, perhaps. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Being stuck in the past. I'm getting a feeling of being a bit tired. Like you just want to slip back into your comfort zone, go back to the past. You're not too keen on moving forward, maybe. Those are some of the feelings I'm getting here. If you want to shelter yourself from the present moment. Hmm. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Jeez. One more. Okay, here we go. Cancer. Ooh, first card is the Five of Cups. Second card is the Seven of Pentacles. Third card is the Strength card. Fourth card is the Page of Cups. Bottom card is the Tower. Oof, well, if you are wanting to shelter yourself from the present moment, <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen with the Tower card. Hmm. Okay, let me see here. We have two major arcanas. We have the Strength card and the Tower. So they're really important to your spread. So that tells me something sudden is going to happen. And it will require you to be strong. Hmm. Something that may snap you out of the past. Where somebody from the past, somebody from the past may be returning and it surprises you. Somebody. Underneath the uh, tower was the Ace of Pentacles. So that's about a brand new start. Some potential new beginning, something solid that can grow in the physical world, something tangible. Hmm. You may receive news with the Tower and the Page of Cups. You may receive news from someone from the past. Someone that you had some kind of uh, disappointing uh, situation you know you couldn't see eye to eye yeah uh, there's emotion there like there's regret and disappointment but maybe there's a potential new beginning with this person from the past 
uh, because we have the tower here, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. So this person may return with the message from the heart where that's um, motivated from the heart. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is uh, usually, you know, reevaluating uh, your efforts, your investments into something, seeing if it's worth investing anymore, if what you've invested in will lead to anything um, in this deck, it looks very painful, you see. This makes me think of the movie, The Black Swan, which I haven't seen yet. I should actually watch it. I think it would be a good movie to watch. But uh, here's the ballerina, and it, it's like she sacrificed a lot for her efforts, her investments, it actually hurt her. Um, maybe she wanted, uh, she wanted this too much. Wanted this connection too much, but it hurt her. This connection was painful in the past. Um, so you may get a sudden uh, unexpected uh, message from this person and it may reawaken uh, painful memories with the page of cups with the uh, five of cups and the uh, seven of pentacles in this deck it may reawaken uh, painful memories and it requires you to be strong. It requires you to handle the situation with grace, to rise above uh, painful memories of the past. But the thing is with the, uh, oh my God, the page with the, uh, the thing is that with the uh, Ace of Pentacles underneath the tower, and I just realized underneath, <laughs> if you want to dig a little deeper, underneath the Ace of Pentacles is the Two of Cups here. Oh, okay. I know I'm going deep. Remember, this card jumped out, the Six of Cups. It's underneath the Two of Cups. So it did reappear. It's just buried a little deeper. So... I think that um, for some of you, yes, this definitely revol revolves around someone from your past returning, and it brings painful memories, but the thing is that I feel this person may be sincere here, coming back with an offer, a solid offer, because they... they they feel a strong connection to you. And with the Six of Cups, it's somebody from your past. Now, I don't know if it's like way back in the past or if it was a more recent thing. Uh, it will be different for everyone. It's a general reading, so uh, you'll know. Uh, but whatever it is, it's going to uh, throw you off like you were not expecting it. Out of the blue, you will get this message. Now, it doesn't have to be like a romantic relationship. It could be family member. You know, it could be a, a sibling. It could be an aunt, an uncle. It could be a close friend. It could be anything, right? It's a general reading. But uh, whoever this person is, it's somebody that you had a close connection with. And for some reason, you had a falling out in the past where something didn't go right in the past, you know. So, uh, yeah, you've been forewarned, so you may not be as shocked or you might still be shocked. You know, you might be 
um, watching this reading and telling yourself, not, a, not in a million years would you ever hear from this person. And next thing you know, there they are with their message. So um, if this happens to you, I the cards are suggesting to handle it with grace with the strength card and to be open to what's being offered because maybe um, what you've invested in in the past wasn't all for naught, you know, because it seems like they're, uh, they're being sincere with their uh, communication and their offering. So it may be, um, uh, an apology, it could be, uh, you know, reconciling with somebody, you know, something like that. So um, let me know if this is your story. I'm curious and give me a like, a share, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you for the following readings. So bye for now.